Hi mates! So finally I got an upgrade of my wheelbase but I decided to spare some money and buy aftermarket QR, not the original C-Magic one. I have quite a few of those and they were direct fit for my camera's wheelbase. I have one of my Clio Rally steering wheel, so let's try. Not ideal, it fits but it has white wobble, you can clearly see it. What I'll do about it we'll see later on, but first what we can expect in this episode. I print a circle, drill some holes, use a feeble cordless tool. I'm Stuyo and welcome to my garage. C-Magic wheelbase relies on 58mm bolt circle diameter which is not something easy to find. But on the other hand I have a lot of wheelbase side QRs which I can modify and use for this purpose. As my regular printer is out of ink I decided a 3D printed template will be in order here. The template is designed to go on the 70mm bolt circle and you simply can screw it in using some M5 hardware. I started with a 2mm drill bit and the height of the guide holes worked well. I climbed up to all the drill bits in my kit up to 6mm. Somewhere around here when I finished the last hole I realized I actually needed a 5mm holes and I went too far. As I have more than enough wheelbase side QRs I decided at this point to just make a new one. Again I started by drilling a 2mm pilot holes. Then I selected two of them and widened them up to 5mm, mounted the original QR with two bolts and then drilled the third one, mounted it as well and then drilled the rest of the holes. This time it turned out perfect. At this stage I could just leave it like that and mount it on the wheelbase, but I wanted to make it perfect. Of course it would be a lot of cutting involved, but at least the holes fit now properly. Having marked with my hobby knife where the cut will be, I could proceed to next step. I started with my battery operated rotary tool which as usually turned out to be too weak for the task. On this disappointment I switched to its bigger brother which operates on normal household electricity. A decent amount of time and for this later the cut was finally complete. Used again the rotary tool to finish off the edge. After this initial grinding I finished it off with finer grit of sandpaper by hand off camera. As the mounting bolts are pretty near the center of the hub, you need to taper the holes to accept the original mounting hardware. This was easily achieved with my hole widening tool and then later finished off with a 8mm drill bit. Now everything seems to fit well and it's ready to be mounted on the wheelbase. This took me about an hour and a half to complete but it was totally worth it. Of course you need some power tools to finish it off but now you have fully compatible C-Magic cheap quick release. I've been using these energy clone QRs for some months now and they are quite stable. I was also able to use the original horn button connection to power my Bluetooth steering wheels. Was both amazed and disappointed this is not a direct fit but yet again I managed to work around it. Here it is mounted on the wheelbase, looks decent enough. You also have color options if you are into it. I tested these QRs with my camo's wheelbase and they were fully compatible. As far as I know Moza are as well. I do not own an original QR from C-Magic to test if it works with the QR on the wheel side. This is an interesting question. So there it is, cheap QR installed, not very pretty but quite functional. I'm happy with it. There you go. Proper interface with my rally steering wheel. Also the buttons work. I have Bluetooth powered over the hub. So what more is there left to say? Hello cheap Bluetooth steering wheels. Nice. 